Hello, this is Jonathan in Intro to Engineering Design, teaching you how to use a laser engraver. First, you want to create your artwork in Corel Draw. So you want to go over to All Programs, under All Programs Graphics, under Graphics, you go to Corel Draw X4, and that'll open up your program uh, to do your artwork in. I usually close this Quick Start. I go to File new document and then under the new document I go to layout page setup and then I make the page the size of my board so let's say I have a board that's uh, 8 inches wide and 4 inches high so then I'm going to create my graphics in here and I'm going to take this and post process it to the driver that does the laser engrave so here's my selection tool. Uh, I want to create letters. I create a text box. We'll put in there, I don't know, 49er ROP. Uh, make that a little bit bigger. We'll make it 36, 72 font. That's good. Black right there is going to be uh, engrave. Any color will be engrave. If I want to cut something out, I want to actually use a laser engraver to cut the piece of wood. As long as it's thinner than an eighth of an inch, I could do that. The tricky part of it, though, is here, I'll do this. I'm going to go create an ellipse. Uh, oops. There's my ellipse. Okay, so I created my ellipse or circle. Then I, I want to click on that ellipse, see how it's all boxed in. It has to be number one. It has to be a hairline line. And that hairline line has to be the color red. Oops, right down here. Yep. Outline color. And it doesn't have to look like red, it has to be the exact designation red. So I hit OK. So this box right here, my ellipse, is a red hairline, and it'll cut through up to an eighth of an inch. My black is an engrave. Okay? I'm all done creating my artwork. I go over to File, Print, and under the printers, I select the VLS 2.3. And I hit print, and that sends it to the laser engraver. Now that I've done that, I come down here to this, open up the driver, I turn it on with the red button here. There's my artwork. As it's warming up, it'll turn, uh, this will turn green to start it. I go over here to relocate view, I click on that center button. And that's the center of my artwork, and I'll say, put that, you know, I don't know, over four inches, up two inches, and that'll move it over, or I could drag it around to center it on my board. I go over to settings. Let's say I'm engraving in wood. It's an alder or medium density wood like poplar. I select wood, medium. This is very important right here. I have to select this thickness. So let's say it's three quarter inch wood. I did put in 0.75. The engrave's not going to work. I mean, I'm sorry, the engrave will work. The cut through will not. So if I want to cut that out, it has to be less than an eighth inch. So 0.125. I hit OK. The thing's warmed up. I hit play. And that's it. Before you hit play, though, make sure the VAC system's all set up correctly, that your wood's in the box, centered in the top left and that you're out there making sure that nothing catches on fire. So that's creating in Corel Draw and then cutting out with the laser engraver.